All right, let's take a look at number 10. Now the problem that was generated for me, I could distribute this half and it wouldn't be a big deal because these are even numbers and taking half of an even number is actually pretty easy. The technique that I'm gonna show you though is one where I'm assuming that maybe some students got some odd numbers in here on the problem that was generated for them, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply through by the denominator of two. So that way I can get rid of that fraction. I'm not gonna do it inside the parentheses because I don't wanna double do it. Once I do it to the one half and then the one half distributes, those numbers inside will automatically get it, okay? All right, so two and two will cancel, leaving us with just that one. All right, so let's take care of this negative two, or two times negative one. And then here we just have a one, right? And then 16 times two is 32. Now distributing one doesn't do anything, right? Multiplying by one doesn't do anything. So really we can just say two m plus six. So now we don't have to work with the fractions. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that m isolated. So I'm gonna subtract six to all sides of the inequality, okay? So negative two take away six is negative eight. These sixes cancel. And 32 minus six is going to be 28, I believe. No, 26. Let me just double check by adding. Yeah, looks good. All right, now to get rid of that two in front of the M, we're gonna have to divide by two. So we end up with negative four less than M, less than or equal to 13. So if we were to graph this, this would be negative four, 13, and we know it's the numbers between always the numbers between on a three-part inequality. Parentheses here because it's just a less than, square bracket here because it's a less than or equal to, so we want to include the 13. So this would be parentheses negative 4 comma 13 with the square bracket. Let's go put this into my lab math. All right, so we said parentheses negative 4 to 13 square bracket. And we said it's going to be a parentheses and then a square bracket. Looks like the only one it could possibly be is A if you just look at the signs. So let's see if that works. And it does. Now, if for some reason, just to kind of take two, if for some reason you everybody's getting generated even numbers, well, then that's the case. Then the easier way to get this done is to just distribute the half. Half of two is one, which we don't write the one, right? And then half of six is three. So look how easy this could be. Just subtract three from all sides of the inequality. So we end up with negative four less than M, those cancel less than or equal to 13. So we get that same result, okay? I just wanted to make sure I covered all bases in case maybe, you know, this two was an odd number or these were odd numbers or whatever, um, that you had a method that worked every time. But if you see that you have, you're halving something and there's even numbers, oh, go for it. Those are the best numbers to have. All right, you guys, hopefully this helps you out with number 10. Take care.